What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to be sharing with you how you can easily create a KDP no content book cover just by using Canva. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now, let's just get on with the video and go straight over to Canva. Well, actually, first of all, let's backtrack a little bit. A few days back, I actually released a video just here called This Is Why You're Not Making Sales With Low and No Content Books. And in that video, I shared these designs. I come to the conclusion that most people are making designs like this, and that's why you're not making sales, because you're not designing your covers. Then within that video, I shared some covers that I made, which are just here. This one, this one, and a few others. Now, if you haven't watched that video, I will link it right there in the right-hand corner. I suggest going through and watching it, because you're going to get some really great tips. Now, like I said, in that video, I shared these designs. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do in this video is break down everything in this design and how I made it step by step. So what I've gone ahead and done is just cloned or copied this cover and now I've got it open here in a new tab. And what I've gone ahead and done is just broken down everything step by step so you can see how I actually created this cover. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to break down everything so you can see exactly how I made the cover like this. Now, when it comes to designing, there's three main things that you need. You need your background, which we have just here. We need some fonts for the wording on the front of your book and some graphics. So with these three elements, this is how I go ahead and create my books. Remember, everything needs a background, fonts, and graphics. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and see how I designed this cover. So, first of all, I started off with the template. The template and the dimensions for your book. Now, when you go ahead to create a book, you should already know the template. No, sorry. You should already know the size of the book, the dimensions, and the niche that you're creating the book in. Once you know that, now, that just comes down to research over on Amazon, looking at bestsellers in the same niche that you want to create books. But you have a look, you see how many pages they've got, you see how many, um, no, you see how many pages they got, you see what dimensions the book are, and what size the book is. And once you've got that, we can use something like tangent templates. Now, I use tangent templates, I believe there's a free thing called Book Cow. Book out, something like that, where you can get the templates. But me personally, I use tangent templates, so this is what I'm going to use as an example. Now, on here, we use the KDP helper. Then we put in our numbers from the research. So in this instance, it would be an 8.5 times 11. I would do, say, let's do 110 pages. And then I'd do interior bleed. No. Well, depends on the type of notebook. If it's a composition notebook, then that would be yes, because the lines go to the edge of the page. But from here, I just click continue, and then this is going to give me all the dimensions that I need for my cover and for my interior. So on the cover, we can download the template just here. This is one of the templates just there. And then if we scroll down, because we use Canva, we can get the dimensions for Canva just here as well, as we can see right here. Now, that number looks a little bit high, so maybe I put in the wrong dimensions, but this is just the idea. Oh, there we go, 2,000, so way too many. So let me just do that again real quick. 8.5 times 11, we want 120 pages, or 110. I'm doing it again, so let's get that, 110. And then let's just click Continue. Now this should look more updated. Here we can see that's the interior template or the cover template, sorry. And if we scroll down to here, we have that 17.5 times 11.25. So that's how I got the dimensions for this. So once I've got that, I put that all into Canva just here, looks good. And this is what I start designing on. Now from here, 
All I added was a spine. So with this, this is just going over to elements. Then we go down to shapes just here. And then I used a square. Now with this square, we can actually play around with the sides as we can see like that. I made it thinner, I made it black. I duplicated, made yellow and put them both there on the spine. So if we just take that, let's lock that for a minute. Duplicate, not duplicate, just do that. We can see that that moves around. So that's how I got the spine. And then I just put the words on the page. So the words are, if we go back to here, coffee, scrubs, and rubber gloves. So I've put that on the page, and this is where I start designing, start playing around with fonts, font combinations, and just making it look good. Now that is what is going to take the longest amount of time. So actually designing is what takes time. Now again, I can't actually go ahead and put this all into one condensed video on YouTube. The video would be way too long. So if you want more, actionable tutorials like this on actually how to create your cover then don't forget to check out our free course all about creating covers and it's called simple cover creation and you can get there by going to simplecovercreation.com and again in there i'm going to give you a lot more tips a lot more better explained on how to create these covers but again if we look here i've got the fonts the words on the page. From there, I just start designing. Now, here's a top tip. When designing, try and use two fonts. Three can work sometimes, but most of the time, two. And you want two different types of fonts that contrast each other. So with this, this is more of like a bold font, and this is more of a scripted font. And together, they actually look pretty good. Now to learn that type of stuff takes time. You need to learn about font combinations, what looks good, what doesn't look good, and then just practice. And over time, you're going to be able to design some really nice designs. Now, a top tip for actually finding font combinations that work well together, or font combination styles, is just using here, Canva. So if we go to text just here, and scroll down, we can see that there's no font combinations. Oh, here they are. So right off the bat, we can see there's some font combinations here, font combinations here. You can get a feel for the styles that actually work well together. So go ahead and just start having a look here on Canva to get some ideas. So that's what I did. Over here, we just got the fonts, coffee, scrubs, and rubber gloves. I used the font, this one, ask why we can find this over on creative fabrica because that's where i get all of my fonts and then this other one is called afternoon christmas regular another font that i really like and as you can see they look really good together so i went ahead played around started putting the words on the page started moving them around playing with different fo font combinations until i found this this is what i really liked so this is what i started to play off now from here I went ahead and started changing the colors. Now, another thing that is good to learn about is color combinations. Now, I believe you can still do this over on Canva. So let's just put in color palette Canva. I believe that will pull up a pretty cool part of the website. Yes, here it is. So color palette generator, I think it's this or it might be this one, Color Schemes to Inspire. So let's click on here for a second. If you want to get to here, I'll try and link this in the description so you can come through and check it out. But from here, we can see all these different color combinations. And these color combinations work really well on books or anything. So you can come through here, try and find color combinations that you like. You can even put in keywords here. So if we put in tree, we have trees in bloom, trees during fall. Now, if we take a look on here, there's just a bunch of color combinations that work really well. So come through and check this out to get inspired for different color, color combinations for your books. Now, for this instance, I've just gone with yellow and blue. I started playing around with all different colors until I found something that I liked. Then I moved on and started adding graphics. Now here we can see that I changed the font to actually white because I go ahead and change the background so that pops. But on here, all these little graphics I actually got from here on Canva. Now usually 
I get my graphics from Creative Fabrica. Main reason being I pay for the subscription, so I might as well go and use that. But for this instance, and in creating this design, I just use the elements here in Canva. If we get off here and go to recently used, and if we scroll down, we can see just here, this is what I use. So with this, I use this. With this, I use this. Very good. So I use that, I use that, and I use this. Now, why did I use these graphics? So if we click on any one of these, we can see that I have the option to change the colors up here. Same with this one. I can change the colors. Same with this one. I can change the colors. Now, why is that important? Well, that means you can actually change your color combinations or your color theme for your book on the fly. So now we could change this to red, change this to red, change this to red. For this instance, we went with the blue and yellow theme, as we can see just here. Now, if you're not going to use the graphics in Canva, which I don't really recommend, I know they've changed their licensing recently, but if you're getting your graphics from Creative Fabrica, try and get the graphics which are SVGs, because that way, nine times out of 10, when you upload them here in Canva, with the SVG, we have this same option. So we can go ahead and change the color of the graphics on the fly. So that's pretty important. But again, with this design, I was just finding stuff that, or graphics, which were nurse related again, because this is going to be a nurse notebook. And then I just started layering them on the page until it looked good. Now, if we go back to here, because I've actually designed quite a few notebooks and planners and books and designed a lot over the last couple of years, I already had an idea in my head on the layout. So that's why I had the um, font like this, because I wanted room here here and here for the graphics. Now things like that just comes over time. The more you create, the better you will get. I've created over 4,000 books now, so my designs are a lot better than what they used to be. Again, practice, practice, practice. But if we come back to here, I just layered them on, changed the colors to match the fonts until it looked good. So I was really happy with this. And then I moved on to the next part. And that is the background. Now with this background, I just found this here within Canva. If we go to backgrounds on the left hand side, we can see all these different styles. Now I went to this one, patterns, and then I just started going through all of these. I clicked on that, nope, I don't like that. I clicked on the next. Oh, that looks okay. Let's change the color. Let's change that to blue. Oh no, I don't like that. And then I moved on to the next, just kept changing the background until I found one that I liked. Now, top tip, what I like to do is just duplicate. So I've got this here, I like that. Now I'm going to duplicate, just there. Go in, change the background. Now I can change this. I'll change the color. And, oh, I don't like that one. Okay, so let's try a different one. And then say I chose this one. And then, oh yeah, I like that. So let's keep that. Keep that to blue, and then I'll just duplicate. Remember, process of elimination. I keep making variations on my designs until I have one that I really, really like, and then I tend to go with that design. For this instance, let's take away this again, and let's take away this one as well, because I really liked this background on this no, nope. I really like this background with all the fonts and the colors and all this. I thought it looked good. I thought it popped. But then there's just a little gap down here. So I thought, what could I do? So I decided to just put Nurse Notebook. Now with this, this is just fonts. This is just an element within the elements. So if we go back to there and then go to shapes again <clears throat> don't know why my voice cracked a little bit then if we go to shapes and click on square again we can just play around with this and make it thinner like that and then i just move this down to here and that's how i got that now we can see there's a little bit of a drop shadow so what i did was clicked duplicated turned black and then i went to Trans transparency just here and change this to 75 like that and then I just moved it behind ever so slightly 
and pushed to the back so it looks like just here that there's that little drop shadow. Then I just put nurse notebook on the front and that's what I had but I thought no that doesn't look that great what else could I do so then I just added a line behind this and I just thought that was a good idea and it just makes it look good so that's how I got to this design now I don't know if this design would actually do well if I actually went and published the book I'm not going to publish the book because this was just all about an example I don't know if nurse notebook is profitable I don't know if it's a good keyword a good niche or anything like that I didn't do any research this was just all about showing you an example of how I personally create my books just by sticking to a few simple principles and remember those principles are a background fonts and graphics and it all comes down to how you actually design with those three elements and remember if you are fairly new to creating books or self-publishing or low content book publishing in general if you're relatively new then your designs aren't going to be that great they're going to be more like this one this is why I made the video because this this is not really designing can you make sales with a book like this yeah you can believe it or not but you're not going to make very many it doesn't take much more effort to design something like this than it does this it just takes more experience and more practice the more you practice the better designs you can create again I've created over 4,000 books now on KDP so my design skills are a lot better than when I first started as we can see just here now from here we can actually go in change this on the fly and have a completely different book just by changing the background the fonts the graphics just by changing these three elements alone you could have a completely new book and if you actually pay for your graphics by using a membership say like on creative fabrica you're going to create much better designs because the fonts you use the graphics you use play a massive part in how your books look so it's always a good idea if you can if you can afford it to actually buy your graphics and your fonts so you can design much better designs now I think that's everything that I wanted to cover you've seen my process for creating book covers and I stick to those few main principles background fonts and graphics that's all we need it all comes down to just how you design those books and those designs get better the more you practice so go and put in the work start practicing start creating covers and start getting better now you don't have to publish every single book cover that you create the point is repetition repetition practice and getting better because again you really don't want to be publishing books like these in 2021 because this is not the way forward this is actually designing and making stuff that looks good and pops over on amazon now i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up also go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos that being said i've been paddy this has been stacking profit and i'll see you again soon